Dear Stranger, I Know How You Feel by Ashish Bagrecha Day 3 About Anxiety My dear demons, no matter how many times you try to prove that nobody loves me, you will always fail. I am loved and I know that. I suggest you run and never come back. Dear Stranger, I see you in the corner of the room, avoiding eye contact with everyone, hoping to fade into the background and prevent any real attention from coming your way. I hear your anxious cries of no, no, no through torturous social rituals like being sung to you on your birthday. I understand your need to shrink into a ball so small that not even a cat would notice you as something to play with and torment. I feel your thoughts crowding your head as rooms grow louder. I see that you are suffering. Suffering alone is the most painful place to be, and suffering in silence feels like torture. I try to remember that you are not alone, that I see you. I promise that you are not alone in feeling that your anxious monster takes up more space in every room than you can fathom. I understand he mocks and teases and tortures you throughout the day and does not get even remotely tired in the evening. In the fact, in the evening he is worse. At night, he is as energetic as a child after eating loads of sweets on Diwali or Halloween. He storms around, throwing tantrums and shouting through your evenings as you lie awake, watching the sky change color. And as the sun sets and rises yet again, what happens if you never sleep again? You often ask yourself, what really can happen? I don't know, but it can hurt to try and drift up. It's got to be better than not trying at all. Yes, I know that fatal word, try. You hear it daily when you need to leave the house or get dressed or take a shower and your anxiety wins yet another battle. Why don't you try and get out of bed today? Try. I know you do. I know you try your hardest every day to summon the energy you need to fight this evil beast. I know you try to ignore the panic that rushes through your bloodstream at the mere mention of going to a public place. I know you try to calm your heartbeat every time you step over the threshold of your front door and out into the real world. I know you squeeze your hands together every time you find yourself nervously tapping your feet. I know you try to still the flurry of thoughts that come with every opportunity, bringing more panic and dream. I know the angst that comes with considering a social engagement and the added pressure of your monster trying to provoke you into avoidance. I know, no matter how much your monster mocks you and says that nobody understands, they do. And I don't mean everyone. Some people are indifferent to their anxious monsters. Some people don't have to battle a panic that overcomes their bodies every day. They don't worry about all the potential hazards they might face if they leave their house. They don't perceive social activities as painful events. Instead, they see them as what they should be. Time to unwind and have fun. Your time to unwind, on the other hand, looks more like hiding from the world. But there are many of us out there who do understand how it feels to confront your anxious monster every single day. Remember, you are not alone with him. There is a community of people like us who are now shouting back at monsters to quieten their roars. Once upon a time, like you, many in our community didn't feel like they had a voice to shout back. It will change for you, just like it has for us. You will find that inner strength you have been hiding to fight back. You will grow louder and begin to feel you are in charge again one day. Your monster will grow smaller and weaker as a result. In the meantime, just keep trying. Yes, try. And don't worry. Today, I'll go to the shop to get your milk for you. Tomorrow, though, maybe we could try and go together.
and then maybe next week you could try and go on your own or not it is totally your call i will not push you because i know it it will only increase your stress and panic i'm here for you to be by your side or to lend an ear whenever you need me if that is every day or even every waking moment i'm here life may throw you a few curve balls even as you find your feet but i will be there to support you and lift you up when they knock you off balance which they will because that is life after all an unending series of challenges we must face and fight against for happiness and sometimes sanity i know it feels easier to hide away when anxiety has a stronger hand but if you reach out you will find others who will help you to face it at all with support your hand grows stronger and your opponent weakens you are kind and loved you are generous and caring you are not frail no matter how weak you feel you are strong and you are brave you are stronger and braver than your anxious monster don't let him win you may not see it now but i can see it even your anxious monster can see your potential and he shouts and barks at you just to hold on to his power because he knows all you need to overrule him is to see it in yourself i can see that fire in your stomach burning low but still burning i can see that switch in your brain awaiting a power it sits there dormant for now but it can be flipped at any moment while you cannot see the light at the end of this very dark tunnel i can see it only a few feet ahead of you the clearing will come into view don't try to walk any fast faster it's okay go at your own pace along the journey and soon enough you will see the light too reach out and hold my hand i'll help you through the darkness reach out and understand that i have felt your suffering reach out and find a hand waiting to support you through it all reach out and when you reach out don't expect that miracle switch to flip all of a sudden take it easy and be patient with yourself stranger take each day as another opportunity to make your way towards the light sending you love and light today and every day